Hey guys, and welcome back to Clanad. So, let's just jump right back in. I stay silent the entire time. After school. I'll be going home alone. Okay. Sunahara leaves the classroom. Our eyes not meet. Or not meeting. It's like a friend that's blamed me because of a girl. I can understand Sunahara's contempt for Tomoyo wanting to enter the council. I only remained here because of my relationship with her as a lover. If not for that, I would have left Tomoyo just like Sunahara did. Tomoya, I'm really shocked. I thought Sunahara would always be that funny type of character. I never thought he'd be so serious about that. Indeed. I hugged Tomoyo from behind, facing the window. But it's something you have to do, isn't it? Words without sentiment. I know that myself. Yeah, that's right. I her unexpected answer. Tomoyo, whispering close to her ear, my face comes beside hers, and then our lips meet. I just want to be like this, being enveloped in Tomoyo's scent. At night, I go to Sunahara's room while no one is around. You know, if she enters the council, you can't be with her anymore, can you? Of course not. It is something that I was or that was decided, which is why I didn't hesitate answering that. Indeed, it's obvious. <laughs> Sorry for asking you something so stupid. Yeah. Well, it'll be good riddance if this continues and she enters the council. So for now, let's finish it and party later. Yeah, I guess. I lie down on the ground, not sharing his sentiments. Yeah, what a dick, Sunahara. Jesus. The next morning, Tomoyo stops, standing beside me while facing the dormitory. Is it okay to, um, wake him up? She asks me as if to understand my facial expression. Nah, we should leave him. Yeah, I think so too. The two of us go up the hill. Because it was Saturday, classes ended after fourth period and school's out after homeroom. Yes, done! The happy Sunahara stands up. Tomorrow's a break, so I'm gonna enjoy it to the fullest. This stuff and that stuff. <laughs> I'm completely alone, aren't I? I can see through his plan as he tries to gain my sympathy. Farewell, my friend. Hurry up and go. <laughs> you can't just stick to Tomoyo then. Or you can just stick to Tomoyo then, ass. He throws me that sharp remark and jumps out. It's already like that now, huh? When the classroom is almost empty, Tomoyo appears. It's Saturday. Yeah. I pick up my bag and stand up. Where or what are you going to do? Do you decide, Tomoya? You have nothing to do? None for today. What about tomorrow? Well, I have an appointment tomorrow and a break on Tuesday, so it's no good. My parents will go on a trip for a while. It's something that was already decided before we began seeing each other. Please forgive me. Nah, I don't have any complaints. Even then, it would have been our first time spending break together. Or even then, it would have been our first time spending break together. It's fine. That is, if you keep me company today. Yeah, that's what I plan to do. Though, having said that, it's only until it gets dark. Yeah. Well, I guess lunch first? Yeah. Where will or where'll we eat? I'll let you decide. Then, I guess, eat in the school. Because we has no money. On the way to the cafeteria, we bump into Kumura in the hallway. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. What is? Makes me remember old times. Heartily saying that, he passes by us. Also, sorry if you can hear anything in the background because I have the window open right next to me. Usually, many people are shy, but they don't hold back on Saturday afternoons. You can slowly taste the best that school life has to offer this way. <laughs> Tomoyo laughed out loud. Yeah, I think this place is great too. I see. I think normal girls would just get angry and go home. We're a perfect match, aren't we? Probably. I'll buy something with a coupon. Anything you want, Tomoyo? I'm coming as well. Nah, it's on me. So I'll go alone. Don't worry so much. You don't have to treat me, you know. 
It's not that I'm worrying. I just thought it was something I had to do. On the first date, the guys are supposed to treat the girls. So, treating me is something that you have to do? Because you're a girl. Then I guess it can't be helped. Treat me to something. We ate our lunch, sitting at a table by the window. After we finish, we look out the window and continue talking. Even though we're in the same school, we can only be together during lunch and after school. It'd be nice if we were in the same class. First off, we'd have to be in the same year. Again, I forgot she is one year below or below me. Well, I feel the same way about being in the same class. Taking the same lessons in the same classroom? Thinking about it actually, it actually seems pretty nice. Your classmates will be pretty jealous. Even you're jealous of me, Tamoya. I've always been jealous. Yeah, you may be bad, but I'm happy about that, as a girl anyway. That's why I want you to be calm and give that answer when no other guys or when other guys bother you. Yeah, I'm calm. I don't really feel tense at all. When guys come close to you anyway. Well, what do you mean by that? It's not like you'll threaten them, will you? Guys or guys will get really close if you do that, you sure? Yeah, I know. You have that kind of personality, after all. No, I don't have any confidence in that. It's better to call me someone with a lot of spirit. But now that you say it, I do have a bit of confidence in my appearance. Your breasts are big. You really are a lech, aren't you? At times like this, you're supposed to make me happy by saying that I'm stylish. <laughs> yeah, you're right on. You could get hired as a model, though. That's a little too much praise. You complain too much, even though I'm praising you. Of course. Well, I'm happy you did. But being pleased with that is strange, isn't it? I guess. Or I guess I just wanted to see how you'd react being bothered. Yeah, I'm quite bothered. I'm happy, though, no matter how many times you say it. Can I try it on you as well, Tamoya? Hmm? What? What kind of response you'd have if I bothered you? I didn't expect that you would be practicing something like this. Would you, Tamoya? Are you making fun of me? Yes, I am. Just me playing around is already bothering people after all. Then give it a try. All right, I will. Tamoya reaches out her hand and grabs a hold of my chin. Face this way. She forces me in her direction. Hmm, you're not really that handsome. You're not praising me at all, are you? That's not all. You serious? She pats my cheek loudly. You're not really in that bad shape. But your face seems stupid. Your eyelashes are pretty for a guy. But you lack sleep, so your eyelids are, swell are swelling up. Your hair's soft. Oh, but you'll probably lose them. You definitely aren't praising me at all. You're annoying. I told you that wasn't all. Don't just say whatever you feel like saying. Your facial expression's cold, but it's always angry. And then there's your filthy mouth. It's the worst. If you don't put any effort in being handsome like this, there's no way girls will come to you at all. She doesn't have any anything more to say. But I'm used to seeing these features, so I don't mind. Because I'm pretty much the same. Which means... God probably left me behind for my sake. For the sake of my future love. I continue staring at her. I can feel that my face is blushing. With my chin being held, I can't avert my eyes. Tomoya? Is there something you want to say? I love you. I can't say anything else. The hand holding onto my chin softly falls. I see. Now it's your turn to bother me. I return, er, in return, I hold Tomoyo by the chin, pull her closer, and kiss her. Jeez, you're a kissing demon, aren't you? I didn't expect you to be like that when it gets dark. Yeah, even I'm surprised. I didn't use any lip cream, so it was kind of rough. I don't like the taste of lip cream. I think I think it's fine. It has a nice smell. The smell from cosmetics is just depressing. But women like to hide their feelings like that. Hide what exactly? Don't ask something like that. You're not delicate at all, are you? Though, saying that, I've gotten really worried about that. About what? That's why I said not to ask. 
Tamayo covers her nose and mouth with her hands. She seems to be breathing into her palms. What are you looking at? How delicate a woman's heart is. Don't say it like that. Well, whatever, it's fine. This time, Tamayo stops, dropping her hand. What's wrong? Look! She was looking at the student council candidate listing. The same one from before. Are you blind? Huh? Looking closely at the wall, there was something scribbled in a ball po ballpoint pen. Delinquent girl. Is there anyone else you know? The only one I know are you and Sunahara. Anyone else would be surprising. We'll probably find out if we ask the students from the other school. It'd be better if this didn't get or get out any further than this. Yeah, I, er, the yeah, I guess so. I messed up. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to the, to the A's and O's. This far is fine. You live close to here? No, but there's still a bit of a walk. But I'll pass by the shopping district. It's not dangerous at all. Even though it isn't dangerous, you'd probably say that I'll be fine, wouldn't you? Don't say things so freely like that. Then, see you. Yeah, next is Monday, isn't it? It's a long time. Yep, a long time. Somehow, I feel as if I know that how others feel when they take a picture at a print club. What do you mean? When we're separated, having a picture of each other means a lot. I see. Then... Do you want to take one? It sounds good. Nah, I won't. I'd end up becoming a, like a normal person that way. I don't think that it's bad at all. So you say. I see. Well, I guess I won't extort you. Telling other people that wouldn't change anything. Yeah. Later. See you. Oh no, this is where all of their problems start. No, <laughs> I'm so sad. Already, the sound of the curtains opening with the er, with the dazzling light. It's morning, Tamoya. Yeah, I probably didn't think that this day after the holidays was refreshing in any way. All thanks, or er, all that is thanks to Tamoya. Did you get any older? You can't get old from just a day. I guess, yeah, but your ability. Or is it just your ability to wake up? I've always thought about your face when you wake up. It looks like a bear. Yup, a bear. I immediately steal the lips of the girl in front of me. That's what happens right after I bring my face too close carelessly. Now to get even. Tomoya also gives me one. No, they're so cute. Did you enjoy your holidays? Well, something like that. How about you, Tomoya? The worst holidays ever. I see, that's too bad. Then let's spend the holidays after this Saturday together, shall we? Yeah, looking forward to it. The bulletin board beside the staff room. I stopped by there again. The scribbling on Tomoyo's name. Below delinquent girl. What do you mean? Was added. This is probably because some students who er because of some students who were interested. I could erase the text here, but I might stir up the writing. Maybe I should go and ask Tomoyo. Leave it be. Is that what you think? To begin with, it's the truth. They'll keep building up at this rate. It'd be stupid if you let your rep or it'd be stupid if you let your reputation fall and lose the election like this, right? Oh, Tomoyo wants to help? I didn't know. I'm not helping at all, it's just I can't let people insult my own girlfriend, you know. It's not an insult, it's the truth. I went through a lot of effort to hide it, but if I'm found out, then it can't be helped. Is it really okay to just leave it? I told you I don't mind, so leave it. Hmm. Lunch break. I am still worried about the bulletin board, so I head down there again. Down the hallway, there's a crowd up in front. Can't be. I rush and force my way in. As expected, the amount of scribbling has increased. The rumors I knew from before were written down. There's a lot of them. If this were true, it'd be big. But isn't she actually pretty good? Everyone is speculating as they please. Oh no. After the onlookers have disappeared, I desperately try to erase the writing with an eraser. What should I do? 
Should I really just let this be and have Tomoyo lose the election? No, if I stand, I'll be dragged down, or I'll be dragging down Tomoyo even more. Even then, I really just what am I doing? In the empty classroom after school, we kiss each other as always. The dazzling sun in the west. I strongly embrace Tomoyo's neck, bringing her even closer. I. I still notice the conflicts I have within me, about how I really like Tomoyo and what I should do, about the result I should let happen. Is now really okay? Have I really begun the way I live being with Tomoyo? Or am I just dragging her down? Our lips part. Tomoyo's face is reddened as always due to the setting sun. I reach my hand under Tomoyo's shirt. I want to be with Tomoyo. Just those feelings alone aren't a lie at all. Those are the strong feelings of conflict, neglecting everything. I lift Tomoyo up and put her on top of the desk. The sound of the door of the opening door. I can't jump back. Without haste, I turn around. If it was a student, a threat would be effective. But unfortunately, the eyes meet with er, the, eh, the eyes I meet with are those of a teacher. Yeah, this would end up closing that. Tomoyo's path to the student council. As I think that to myself, I abruptly head towards the teacher and move faster than I think, so that Tomoyo's path wouldn't be closed. Damn! Ugh. I got in trouble in the staff room the day after the break for doing ill in the classroom and threatening the teacher. As a result, I was suspended for three days as punishment. For now, I'd like to ask you a lot of things. To be a man, or be a man and don't ask. I'm a friend, so please tell me, my friend. Seriously, don't ask, it's annoying. Not at all, especially when it might be interesting. So, what were you doing in the classroom after school? I assaulted her. Huh? I assaulted Tomoyo. What I heard was different. What you heard ain't right. Well, knowing the truth isn't bad at all. That's why I'm saying it's the truth right now. I attacked her on my own accord. So that was your excuse to the officials? You didn't understand me. Well, you guys are quite popular for making out. It's kind of late to make any excuses. Well, it would have been better if she said the same thing I did. You know, if she did, it wouldn't just be suspension, it'd be expulsion. Plus, she doesn't want to tell any lies, you know. Don't say that as if you know her a hundred times better than me. She's your girlfriend. Just how much do you know? Isn't that interesting? Go away, man. This is my room, you know. You're really annoying. Now, now. But it's not like I don't know how you feel. What do you mean? I'm not harboring any ill will at all. I'm just worried, man. Uh, and you thought you could help a bit. Yeah. <laughs> but being able to do that to the legend, you've really made use of your life, haven't you? It feels like you're still putting me down. I'm joking, I'm joking. No matter who you go out with, we're still friends, right? It feels like you're taking your revenge out on me. Well, it's convenient just picking on you, isn't it? You never had any place in my or in the election to begin with. You were only trying to take down her candidacy, weren't you? No, I wasn't thinking of doing anything bad like that to her. I'm her partner, after all. Well, I guess so. But even though it's become like this, you can still have fun like old times, right? I'm just a problem. Probably. There, Okazaki. Huh? When that time comes, you'll have to exercise your power as her boyfriend. Uh-huh. Say something like, take care of Sunahara. He's my best friend, after all. If you do that, I could end up being the three- or it could end up being the three of us again. I guess. Living like that would be nice. Not having anything to do with the student council. Just be with Tomoyo, and watch Tsunahara get kicked once in a while as I laugh at him. Laugh at him real, real hard. That'd be fun. You here, Tomoya? A voice from be uh, beyond the door. I'm coming in. You're here. She comes, sitting beside me, saying that, and then gives an apologetic glance to Tsunahara. I'm sorry, Sunahara. Could you leave? This is my room, you know. That's why I said I'm sorry. You can at least guess how it is, right? Sunahara, go and take a bath. Or rather, 
And you go back to your parents and be a loving kid. And never come back here. You guys really are a good match. Aren't you embarrassed? You're quite the optimist. Right now, I can't- or I can understand that both of you are having trouble with your lovey-dovey time. Shh, I'll leave for a bit. But in return, tell me everything that happened. Sure, that is, if we leave your room in a good condition. What the hell do you intend to do? I'm joking, I'm joking. Shh. stands up and leaves the room promptly. The sound of the door closing and his footsteps going far away. But this is all the time that I have for this episode, guys, so if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!